Okay, next project. Here we go. Today, the package was just delivered, which means we get to start this opening right here. We're gonna build a new sliding barn door, try new ways, um, try not to screw it up. But first, we gotta go get our package. Grab some home lux. What is this? What is this? Oh, and Lee's not a fan. Ah. So this is basically the start of the whole thing. Now, did I need this to start this project? Not really. I could have had this well on its way already, but I didn't want to do anything until we had all the pieces. This is going to be our rail for our sliding barn door over the baby's closet. What do you think, Henley? I'm not even gonna open this yet, I guess, because first, we gotta get to building a barn door. So, let's have to do it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get all this done in one video. I'm gonna try and get I'll get doing them that I need to today so that that way tomorrow morning I can come in and really start getting the town on this thing. Let's get to work. Let's get scratching. Alright. I <laughs> I should have known better than this, and I'm trying to avoid glue everywhere so I don't have to clean it up when I'm done. Lesson number one. More glue is better. Less glue is never a good idea, no matter how clean you're trying to stay. Pick it back apart, put some more glue on, try and clamp it up again. There. <laughs> now that is glued. Now a little overboard. A little, but guarantee you these boards are not coming apart. Let's get the other boards done. Call the night, see you in the morning. All right, last glue up. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Luckily, these boards are a lot straighter than those over there. So really, I'm just looking for them to stick together. Should hold, got enough glue on them again. From there, it's just a waiting game. So, till tomorrow. Give it to me. Give me a big old stretch so we can get this video going. There it is! Oh my goodness! All right, now we can get going. Good job. Glad you got that out of your system. So this whole social distancing stuff just sucks. I hate it. In order to keep in contact with the brothers, the family, you just gotta find ways to improvise. Here he is! <laughs> Now I got a warm seat too. Lady! What's going on though, girl? What you think? Let's make sure we're a safe distance apart here. Oh, shit. eight feet. All right, so here's what we're working with. This morning, these suckers are glued. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a flush cutting router bit just flush everything up. Hopefully it takes that glue off with it. We get to drill in some pocket holes and putting together our frame. Get to it. We have our sides, I don't want to say squared up, but cleaned up. 
What we need is for the total door height to be, we're shooting for 83 inches. So what I'm gonna do is cut each of these at 68 and a half. Let's see how good our math is. I should have been thinking to have Mark's house and Mark I should have grabbed your saw. Because this little guy is not gonna make this wide of a cut. But I'm lining up perfectly. <laughs> Here's the hole. Good enough. <laughs> The reason behind gluing two of these together, so I wanna be able to put a channel within here that there's at least like a three quarter inch lip. And that way my center boards, that's what they can rest within and kind of fill in that gap as well. If you have a table saw, well shit, you got it easy. All you gotta do is cut off three quarters of an inch and then glue your boards together. But, cause I don't have that, working with what we got. Let's see if this works. This is one of those moments when you go, holy shnikes at work. A few moments later. So, <laughs> you ever have those aha moments in life when things seem like they're coming together great and all of a sudden that block in the road and you just go, <laughs> just hit it. And a lot of you probably saw this coming. Here's where we're at. Is, uh, yep. I have the channel all the way around, which what I was going for. But what are we gonna do when we get right here? I guess the only way I'm gonna be able to fix it, we are going to go ahead right here. We're just gonna run this through the router table one more time. I'm gonna take that piece of it out. We're gonna lose about an inch and a half. It's either that or start over. So, cross your fingers. All right, and just like that, we are back in business. That one couldn't have worked out better if I made the mistake on purpose. I don't know how I'm gonna clamp this yet. But, Craig's glue clamp, and then we can get to working on the middle part. Get to work. Okay, here's where we're at. I had to wrestle with it more than what I thought, but honestly, it's coming along. Next step, um, we are gonna be making the middle insert out of, man, I don't even know what the heck you call these things, but they were so flippin' cheap. Well, what's the worst that can happen? It's the middle insert, so if it all goes to sh well, I guess we just go back to the drawing board and we do something differently. All right, we got our middle board cut. All we have to do is fill in the middle. Do it. All right, well, as you can see, Nick, there's not enough. I know. Have no fear. Pick myself up a dummy piece. So all we're gonna have to do is slide this in there, tuck her in, nail it, and glue it, and we should be just fine. Okay, this is where I'm finishing up tonight. So this is the back. If you look at the front, it looks dang good. I'm gonna end that one here. <sighs> Day three tomorrow. All right, day three of this build. Let's get to work. Oh. <laughs> Forgot that garage door broke a little while ago and I got to fix it. That one works though. So this is where we left off yesterday. Let's get the clamps off, flip that door over, and really all we have to do is put two braces, um, basically for our design that we want to do. We're done.
Okay, well, I got distracted. I put it in the party note, I just found myself standing there everything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blow everything off, we're gonna get back to do our decorative middle piece. Let's go! Well, this shouldn't have taken as long as it did, but angles are hard, but I got it basically as close as I'm going to. I'm not going to nail those and glue them in yet. Not gonna include the staining process of it. You've all seen things stain time and time and time again. Um, I'll give you, look at this. Once I think it's done, I'll bring you guys back into it and show you what I think we're gonna be looking at here. All right, well, here's where we're ending this video today. This one was another bump in the road. We'll get over it, that's what you do. So I brought the door in just before I started staining everything, just to be like, well, I just wanna see what it looks like. When we brought it in, door looks great. Little more of a gap than what I planned on there being. So, catch you guys on the next video. This will get fixed. Stay tuned.